Okay, so now that we've got the custom fonts, let's go ahead and use them. So at the moment, it's just using the default font. So let's go, let's go and change this. In my stack navigator, so right down here, on this stack.navigator element, I'm going to add uh, some options there. So I can say screen options. And this uh, these options here will be applied to every single screen. So make sure you put the curly brackets in there twice. So in there, I can say header, title, uh, style. And then in there I can say font family. And I can specify medium, for example. And if I save that, you should see it change up here. So I'll save that. And it's very, very subtle, but um, I mean, I could change it to regular, it might be a bit more obvious. So I've saved it, you see it's gone a bit thinner. Um, and what this, this name here corresponds to what you have up here, so these keys you have. So you, for example, you could have medium italic, so I could copy that one, and it, that will reference this, uh, this font right there. So let me just move that to there. So medium, medium italic, for example, you'll see it changes to medium metallic. But we're just gonna have uh, medium, not medium metallic. I mean, you can use whatever you want though, of course. Cool, so now all of, the, um, all of the titles will use that. We can also set the header style. So header style, style like that. And we can change the color of the, um, of the top bar. So we can say background color. And for example, you could put red. We're not going to, but you could put red and it should change all that to red. Now we're gonna use our own custom color. And the color we're going to use is a uh, pound sign 1A73E8. So if I save that, you should see it turn to this nice blue. Um, but we're going to use this in a couple of places. This will be like the main blue for our app. So what I'm going to do, instead of writing this out every time, I'm going to just copy that. And I'll go and create a new file. Uh, well, first I'll create a new folder in the root of my project. So I've right-clicked outside of my project. I'm going to call this folder utils. Oops, I've named it. I spelled it wrong. So make sure you call this utils. Let me just rename that. Utils. Uh, in there, I'm going to just create a new file called colors.js. Now, because this isn't a React component, I'm not going to use an uppercase C. So just colors.js like that. And I'll say export default uh, and then an object. And we can just put primary and this will be the primary color for our app. I'll just paste that color. Now, if I save that, we can go back to our app.js where we're using this color, and I can say colors, and it should add the import if I press enter, dot primary. Now, if I save it, you'll see the same thing, of course, because it's the same colors we just had, but that's now taking it from here. Now, uh, anytime we want to use that blue, we can just call colors.primary. And of course, it also means that if we want to change this color, change the primary color in our app, uh, we only have to change it in one place that way. So anyway, we've got this translator here in black, which is kind of hard to see. So I'll go to uh, header title style and say um, color, just going to be white. Or oh, I've got a random slash there, so let me get rid of that. If I save it now, we can see it changes to white. You could, of course, move white to um, here as well, but I mean, white is white, so there's not really much point to me. If you were going to use some different, slightly not white color with some hex code, I would move it to colors. But since we just using white, I'll just leave it there.